If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, click on the subscribe button below and tap on this bell icon to get notified whenever a new episode is out. And also subscribe to my Hindi channel. The link will be in the description below. Welcome to the Chappan Bhog series of Chef Lal's Kitchen, where I will be making more than 100 holy food of Lord Jagannath, also known as Mahaprasad. In today we are going to be making Saptapuri Khaja. So let's get started. So the ingredients we need are about 1 cup of refined flour or maida, half a cup of clarified butter or ghee, half a cup of jaggery or gourd, then soak about 2 tablespoons of moong and urad for roughly about an hour, then discard the water, a tablespoon of simulina or suji, 2-3 to three dates or khajur, 2 tablespoons of sesame seeds, 2 tablespoons of grated coconut, then take some fennel seeds, cloves, black cardamom in black pepper in a blender and blend to make powder of it, from which we need about 2 tablespoons of that, then a teaspoon of salt. Now in a bowl, take all the refined flour or maida, to that add all the salt and the ghee. Now combine these really well with your fingers. And after combining it really well, take small portion in your hand and tightly squeeze it. If it holds the shape, then it's perfect. Now add the water which is about one third cup, then knead it to make a hard dough. And after that, let it rest for at least 15 minutes. Now take, take about 4 cups of milk in a pan and set the flame on high and bring that to boil first. Then after that reduce the flame to medium and to the milk add about 2 teaspoons of lemon juice and wait for a couple of minutes. What that will do, it will make chenna or cottage cheese. So in a couple of minutes you will see something like this. So at this stage switch off the flame and take a bowl along with a cotton cloth, place it on top of the bowl and if possible tie it or make some knots then gently pour the cottage cheese or chenna on top of it so the cloth will collect it and the water will go down into the bowl which we don't need so once you get all the chenna slowly pour some water on top of it now in a small pan add about a teaspoon of ghee and to that add all the moong and roast for roughly about a minute then add a pinch of powder a tablespoon of gourd and mix it up real well. Then remove it from the pan. Add about a teaspoon of ghee and to that add all the urad and roast for roughly about a minute. Then add a pinch of powder, a tablespoon of gourd and mix it up real well. Then remove it from the pan. Add about a teaspoon of ghee and to that add all the sesame seeds or rasi and roast for roughly about a minute. Then add a pinch of powder a tablespoon of gourd and mix it up real well. Then remove it from the pan. Add about a teaspoon of ghee and to that add all the grated coconut and roast for roughly about a minute. Then add a pinch of powder, a tablespoon of gourd and mix it up real well. Then remove it from the pan. Add about a teaspoon of ghee and to that add all the suji and roast for roughly about a minute. Then add a pinch of powder, a tablespoon of gourd 2 tablespoons of water and mix it up real well. Then remove it from the pan. Now divide the dough into 8 portions from which 2 of them should be little larger than the rest 6. Now take all of them and roll to flatten them. And first dust some flour and place a larger one which should be the bottom of the saptapuri. So at the center add any filling or stuffing. Then take a smaller one and cover it and completely seal the edges. Now repeat the same process for all the 7 stuffings.
and at last cover it with the larger puri. Now to completely seal it, starting from an edge, pinch and twist just like this. And when it's done, we will fry it. So for that, take lots of oil or ghee in a pan and set the flame on low and gently slide the sabta puri in it. And because of low temperature, it will take time to completely cook. So when it gets crisp and golden brown in color, gently remove it and it's done. And that's it, one of the Mahaprasad Sapta Puri Khaja. So do try it at home and see your experience in the comment section below. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, click on the subscribe button below and tap on this bell icon to get notified whenever a new episode is out. And also subscribe to my Hindi channel. The link will be in the description below.